Magandang umaga. Good morning po. Again, welcome to Easy Franchise, our FB Live session on Business in Crisis. Ako po si R.J. Ladesma. I will be your moderator for this morning session. And again, I am one of the co-founders of Easy Franchise. For those who want to know what Easy Franchise is all about, ang Easy Franchise ay isang digital platform po. Ang ginagawa namin dito is that we connect franchise owners, people who own... Um, Franchises like Phoenix LPG, uh, Family Mart, Potato Corner, Tokyo Tempura. We connect franchise owners to potential franchisees or franchise investors. People who want to put up franchises. Hindi lang po yung mga Pinoy na nakabase po dito, but even OFWs all over the world want to put up franchises. In our website, easyfranchise.com, we are able to connect franchisors and franchisees. And franchisees have the choice of choosing from over 1,000 franchises from all over uh, the country. And you could choose based on uh, the, the investment value of the franchise. You will know the return on investment of the franchise. And at the same time, kung wala kayong oras, patakbuhin yung mga franchises ninyo, don't worry. We have a franchise management service just for you. So again, during this time, the ECQ, kahit may ECQ po, maraming pa rin mag-invest sa mga essential franchises like uh, pharmaceuticals, LPG, convenience store, watery filling. So please check out Easy Franchise right now. That's easyfranchise.com. This morning, I am very, very excited para sa ating uh, live session ngayon. And our session for today is for us to develop mga training skills to connect with consumers. So ang ibig sabihin lang ito po no, this morning, as we've been doing all these sessions here on Easy Franchise, and I've also been doing other sessions for uh, uh, Go Negosyo, and at the same time, we've also been doing sessions para po sa Bounce Back Philippines. Yung lumalabas po dito ngayon is that lahat ng mga negosyo ay nag-digital transformation. They are all going online, especially yung mga service businesses. But the question is right now, as they go online, how do I transform my business to becoming something that can also be done online? Kung kunyari po, kayo po ay may spa or may tutorial uh, or may or kayo po ay isang musikero, how can you translate, bring those skills online, and how do you make money by bringing all of your skills online? So with that, we'll talk about training skills to connect with consumers post-COVID. At ngayong umaga po ito, uh, we have right now the Director of Strategy and Innovation of Consultation Global, Ms. Donna Tombok. Donna, magandang umaga sa inyo. Donna, how are you doing? Magandang umaga, RJ. Good morning, everybody, wherever you may be. Um, I'm doing great. I'm so excited to share with you our insight from Consultation Global. Maraming salamat, Donna. Thank you so much for your time. And of course, we also have Ms. Carmine Ortega. Carmine Ortega, Managing Partner of Consultation for Clark and Subic. Magandang umaga, Ms. Carmine. Hi, good morning, RJ. Good morning to our viewers. And I'd like uh, to say hi, especially to Tinet and PI, and also the people in Clark and Subic. Thank you for having us. Saan po kayo ngayon? Are you right now in Clark? In, uh, are you in Clark or in Subic or nasa Bayern kayo ngayon po? No, I'm here in Marikina. Marikina City. Eh, Mar Marikina City. Kumusta po? <laughs> At bago na babatingin ko lahat ng mga taga, nakikinig dito pa ngayon, yung ating uh, very loyal listener, Lance Luis Business Caviteño. Thanks so much for listening. Uh, we also have here right now listening to us... Um, Shani Q, and of course, our good friend and the founder of um, Bounce Back Philippines, Jason De La Rosa. Thanks so much for joining us. We also have Meryl Parnaso and Martin Kunanan. Now, bago pa tayo magsimula, let's start off. Uh, my first question right now is really, um, sa mga hindi pa nakakaalam, can you tell us a bit more of what consultation is all about? Donna, please share with us uh, what is uh, consultation. Ayan, thank you, RJ. So, consultation is a training company. And we're world-class, literally, because we have branches in four continents. So we have presence in Canada, Australia, UK, and of course, the Philippines. Our goal is literally to add value to our customers uh, mm -hmm. who have customers themselves. So we want to make sure that they're trained in terms of leadership, business, sales, and even life coaching. Uh, we also provide um, you know, services across industries, such as hospitality, tourism, retail, Real estate, oil and gas, direct sales. So we've been around. So we've been um, happy to have served a lot of clients uh, from small and medium business owners all the way to multinational companies. 
So kayo po ay isang tinatawag na B2B business or rather business to business uh, business. Tama, tama po ba ako? That's correct. That oh. is correct. At yung mga sinasabi siya po yung mga kliyente, uh, who are these type of clients that you are servicing? Um, these are people who are uh, small, medium scale, large? Yes, from from sm- micro, even micro, we had a client na parlor talaga. So from oh. micro, small, and medium enterprises all the way to multinational companies, we serve them. So may presyo, we have, may presyo pang micro, may presyo ng pang malaking kumpanya. Yes. Precisely. May presyong ano, ka, 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 kaibigan. May presyong kaibigan <laughs> at may presyong pang-korporasyon. Yan exactly. Po. Uh, yes. for, for consultation naman po, pwede mag, mag, magtanong lang, ito po ay nagsimula sa Pilipinas or abroad? Uh, nagsimula siya sa Makati, dito sa Pilipinas. Uh, it's a one-woman show by Tinette Cortez before, but uh, through the years, it has grown and blossomed into a company with different independent business units. Ah, maganda. So parang Filipino multinational kayo ngayon. Ma'am Carmine, yes. isasabihin ka ma'am. Ma'am Carmine, kayo But I want to add, I want to add that uh, consultation started almost accidentally. Tinet mm-hmm. was helping a friend uh, with his business. It happened to be a hotel business and Tinet uh, was from the hotel industry. And she didn't even expect na may bayaran na mangyayari. She really just wanted to help. And to this day, that's the culture of consultation. We will not take on any project without you know, expecting it to really work to add value. Hindi kami yung para lang may negosyo, para lang may business na pumasok. Okay. Actually, um, yung, yung, yung importante dito ngayon, bago, bago tayo magsimula, no? uh, lahat po nakikinig dito ay mga negosyante at mga entrepreneur at gusto magnegosyo para mas maintindihan din nila. No? We always ask this question uh, to people when we talk to businesses is that what problem was your business initially trying to solve? Ano ba talaga ginagawa ng consultation? Kaya siya nagsimula and right now, what do you do? So, what was the initial problem that uh, Tinet was trying to solve nung, nung tinayo yung uh, consultation? So, I want to take on that. Sure, ayan. So, once upon a trade show, <laughs> so Tinet was, um, you know, asked to just stay dun sa, dun sa booth ng friend niya. And uh, one of the, you know, trade show participants happened to stop by and he was looking for furniture. Uh-oh. Tapos, yun, so kausap lang niya si the client, prospective client, and then dun sa pag-uusap nila na probe ni Tinet na kailangan pala niya ng training in, ng customer service dahil may hotel siya Mm-mm. sa sa ano dito sa Pilipinas. And then sabi ni Tinet, hotel ba ikaw mo? <laughs> oh. From hotel ako. So yun, binigyan niya ng information on how to to select the right furniture. Tapos from there, nag-blossom na yung relationship. And yun, uh, she trained the the first part, set of participants. Tapos, from training them customer service, lumago na yung business through referrals. So, mm-hmm. she didn't really market herself. It was really the happy clients who continuously uh, refer her to other clients. It's always been the case uh, until now. Okay, so talaga word of mouth yung nangyari uh, mm-hmm. uh, So, ma'am, simulan na natin yung discussion natin. No? Una-una, alam nyo po, uh, nung nagkaroon ng, uh, nung nagkaroon ng uh, crisis, crisis na ito, no? karami ng mga negosyo, mga service businesses ay nawala ng trabaho. And then, yung naisip nila all of a sudden, no, may, 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 may isang joke na umiikot ngayon sa internet. They ask you, what, who, is the, who is leading the digital transformation in your company? Ito pa ba ay yung CEO, yung CIO, yung Chief uh, Information Officer, yung Chief Technology Officer, or COVID-19? E mukha lang tayo, COVID-19, yun ang papa-accelerate sa ating digital transformation. At isa dyan, yung talaga na apekto, uh, yung mga tinatawag na service businesses, uh, which include things like maybe uh, contact businesses, like like gyms. Uh, aside from gyms, you also have things like uh, you also have things like tutorial businesses na talagang kinakausap yung mga students. You also have businesses uh, like like spas, uh, which which require a certain service. Uh, how can what they're doing right now? I, I'm when we when we bring in your facility, you teach a lot of how people to do can, can do webinars and training. I guess the first question is how can they translate now yung mga negos nila nila na noon puro services? Paano, paano siya mata translate online? At pangalawa paano sila kikita online pag pag ginawang online yung negos yung nila. Um, ma'am, ma'am Donna, ma'am Karen, please feel free to add to this discussion. So both of you, please, uh, ma'am Donna, kayo muna po. Ayun. So, totoo yan, uh, RJ, nung na, 
nagkaroon ng ECQ, everybody was in shock. Like, huh, what do we do now? <laughs> hindi, ta- hindi na pwede yung dating gawe. So, uh, I would suggest, uh, and based on our clients, what we do is we encourage them to, to really write down why they exist and why they do what they do. So, for example, dun sa hairdresser na client namin, meron siya maliit na parlor. So, hindi niya na kaya talaga na tumagap ng clients because they're closed. So, what they did is they set up a like a tutorial on how to cut your hair or cut your husband's oh, hair or cut okay. your child's hair. Tapos nasa ano lang siya, um, YouTube and then uh, from there, kinross post nila sa, sa Facebook and then uh, nakaisip sila ng promo. So kung sino yung mag-like at mag-share nung kanilang video, merong 10% off pag nagbukas ulit yung salon nila. So Simple things like that. It doesn't have to be perfect. Hindi sila pro na videographer. Hindi sila pro na na, pro, na magpo-produce ng webinar. Hindi. They're just really entrepreneurs who want to share, you know, what they know. And they know that they can help other people uh, sharing what they do. So, hmm. yeah, start with helping. Uh, the money will follow. So, as long as the clients know that you're sincere and that um, you have a store that you know you will open soon and near sa kanila you know they will think of you after covid okay so importante din ngayon yung nakikita ko sa inyo is to create the sort of meaningful meaningfulness uh, with your relationship and to maintain that relationship uh, with your clients here as well miss carmine ano pa experience niyo aside from yung mga of course nandiyan yung hair cutter but ano pa ibang ibang services kunya rin mga tutorial paano sila ngayon po well, these are just examples, no? But another example I can think of, for example, is the wine retailer na may liquor ba nga, hindi nga siya makabenta, no? But the, that uh, entrepreneur will have to keep the relationship with the customers going. And not just the existing customers, but also potential customers. So what can that wine retailer do? For example, i-educate niya yung, uh, yung audience niya the basics of wine, para saan ba ang red wine, para saan ba ang uh, white mm-hmm. wine, for example, um, at saan galing, saan galing ang champagne, saan galing ang shiraz, yung mga ganung bagay. Another example, for example, uh, is uh, a plumber, parts of a gripo, ganyan, or anong tawag sa ganitong parte, anong tawag sa ganong parte. So, you can educate. You know? And to me, these are uh, like seeds that you plant para when the ECQ is over, when we're out there sa new normal, you are on uh, on the awareness, top of mind awareness ng, ng customer mo. Kasi um, even very well-known brands like Nike, Coke, mm. diba? they still advertise. They have mm. advertisements. They're famous brands worldwide and yet they continue to remind us that they exist. They remind us of their product. So, kahit maliliit tayo, ganun din tayo. Para pag, oras na para magpagupit, oras na para magpaayos ng mga uh, tubo natin sa bahay. Mer- mm-hmm. Alam natin kung sino ang tatawagan. Because people always hire who they know. Uh-huh. They buy who they like. So, ito yung pagkakataon para makilala kayo. Uh, and now I'm addressing our viewers, the entrepreneurs. Mm. No? So, be known, be known no. by your existing customers. So, what can you make dark? I mean, what can you make during the time of COVID? Dapat uh, lagi na kalab- na sa labas kayo. Actually, maganda po siya sabi niyo. One of our uh, previous speakers here, si Miss Miss uh, Matek Bilangweba. Ayan niyo po yung payo niya sa amin. Dapat educate and empathize with people habang uh, nanjan kayo. Uh, before I go to the presentation, no, just just one question sir, from from the people na nakikinig, nakikinig dito po dito ngayon. Uh, one of them is, they're asking them, because you're, you are in the business of creating mga webinars and trainings, how do you properly connect with consumers through videos given that interaction is less personal kasi hindi siya face-to-face? Ma- may, may mga paraan ba yan na kahit, kahit nakabideo ka lang, you can able, you're able to create some empathy and, and uh, interaction uh, with your client? Uh, Ma'am Donna? Yes, uh, definitely. It all starts with the heart talaga. Out of the fullness of your heart, Diba? The mouth speaks so kapag excited ka, may energy ka to actually uh, connect with uh, your your clients kahit virtually lang, they would feel that. And I've done so many um, touch point meetings with our clients uh, here and abroad and they're enjoying it because I'm enjoying it. So if 
if you feel it, your viewers will feel it too. Yeah. I see. So talaga, galing, it actually comes from the speaker, kumbaga, ma'am. Yung talaga, mm-hmm. if, if they can see from the speaker's motivations and ability to deliver the message, mas maganda pa yung lumalabas. Tama po ba yes. ako dyan? It has to be clear, it has to be uh, systematic, and it, you have to have a point. Hindi pwede okay. kwento ka lang na kwento. Okay. Maki- makikita man, ma- namin yun mamaya sa presentation po ninyo. Let me just feel one more question from here. Maybe, uh, Ms. Carmen, masasagot mo to. Si Ms. Uh-huh. Ma- Martin Kunan, and how do I provide business solutions or products and services through webinars? Kaya bang gawin sa mga webinar yan to present your, your products and services kahit di kayo face-to-face? Yes, definitely. Um, itong mga webinars, no, they're just like our face-to-face seminars and workshops only with a little, some adjustments, with a little more technical elements. Okay, mm. So you have to be familiar with the platforms, halimbawa ito Zoom or Jitsi, etc., etc. There are ways. You sa face-to-face uh, workshops, we have a little more interaction, di ba? Immediately, makita mo yung reaction ng tao. Madali mo silang kapag-raise ng kamay to participate. Sa, sa online, no, there's a little more talk, less mm-hmm. reaction. Pero... Just the same, you have to get a feel for what's going on. Are they distracted? Actually, sa tingin ko nga, people are less distracted because they're using their phones to mm. learn and therefore they cannot chat, cannot check Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So I, I think, yes, we definitely can transfer knowledge, whether FB Live or recorded webinar, even just a simple graphic, no, with uh, mm-hmm. five steps to five easy steps to build something, for example. Pwede yon. Doesn't have to be a video. Doesn't have to be a webinar. They can be just that graphic. Ah, okay. Yeah. And Mama, yes, ma'am, Donna, opo. If I may add, um, siguro familiar naman tayo sa mga home shopping networks in the mm. past, de ba? So, um, this online platforms lends itself well to products that you could demonstrate and products that you could cook. So if you're a cook, you could, you know, show like how to do a recipe and if they want to order uh, and ayaw na nila magluto, they can order through you or you could give them the recipe for free. So there's so many ways uh, to, to really, you know, leverage on technology. Ang ganda, no? Really, again, sa lahat mga nakikinig po dito ngayon, we're talking about business in crisis how to translate mo na yung mga offline services niyo online, no? And how we're able to create mga webinars and trainings, especially mga first-timers na gustong gawa ng mga webinars or trainings. Uh, this is the place to be. Please listen up to our speakers, Ms. Donna and Ms. Carmine of Consultasia. Um, ito pa yung expertise nila and how to make a, how to craft a very powerful message online. Ma'am, maraming pa mga tanong na pumapasok dito ngayon and I'm very, very happy to uh, We'll address these questions in just a bit. But can you tell us a bit more? I know that you have a bit of a presentation to tell us a bit more how to improve your communication skills, especially when you bring your communication online, when you need to sell to your clients. Can we please see the presentation ng uh, consultation? Uh, sure. Okay, let me just uh, share it here. So, ayan. Kita na ba siya? Oh, ma'am. Oh, yes, Paul. Okay. So... Business in crisis, so we are going to talk about just an overview of yeah. how uh, we could use training skills to connect with consumers. So, pag sinabing training, may ano, nagpapasa ka ng skill from the trainer to the trainee. Mm, and okay. essentially, it's, it's, it, uh, it is done in different platforms. So, typically, it's uh, personal, uh, mag, mas madali mo siyang uh, makikita. Pero dahil nga sa nangyayari ngayon, we're limited with, you know, with technology. So, kailangan mas maging creative tayo. Um, I've seen people doing games. I've seen people uh, doing uh, pre-work before they log online. Yun. So, essentially, like what uh, Carmine said earlier, uh, people don't buy why you, you know, what you do or what you sell. They buy why you do it. Um, it's, this is the mantra for, for our trainers. We want to make sure that uh, when we teach our 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 clients, we want to make sure that they're doing this for the right reasons. Because if you target mo agad profit, usually the clients can smell that. Parang mao off na sila sa yoy. Eh. Pero kung you present yourself as an expert, as a credible person with the heart to help, usually they gravitate towards you and they would really engage with you. 
and then you go from there. Uh, I've seen a lot of models uh, in the last few weeks. We've had a lot of like top-notch expert speakers. They did three webinars, they mm-hmm. did three seminars, and then after a few weeks, they started uh, selling, you know, their their another training uh program. So parang freemium, free sa simula. So, tapos so, just to clarify lang, yung may ibang tag ginagawa nila, yung yan, yung tagtatabong freemium, yung una ginagawa mm-hmm. you you parang proof of concept kaya kung ibenta ito. Yes. And uh-huh. I want to uh-huh. so, kunyari the first 15 minutes or this is a free seminar. If you want to listen to more, you can pay for my services. So that's that's for one way to monetize uh, your services online. So muna kung anong kaya mo, then kung bilib mga tao sa iyo, pwede kang pwede kang bayaran na online tama ba ako? yes and nagsisimula yun dahil gusto mong tumulong kasi that's why that's why you want to do it and then pag nakita ng mga tao na ah okay to ah then they engage with you and you know inevitably it will be an income stream for you kasi makikita mo na kung ano yung kailangan ng clients kung ano yung problema nila mas magagawa mo ng ng solution you know, for them okay so may isang may isang, may isang tanong dito from Kath Guevara why is it important to connect with consumers through training video isn't normal social media enough? Kung ibig sabihin parang just Facebook Live, okay na ba yan? Di ba? Kailangan ba ng training video? So, kunyari, parang nasasagot mo yan, Miss Donna, di ba? So, at first, pwede ka mag-normal social media muna. Yan yung parang yung, mm-hmm. parang yung libre mo, di ba? Mm-hmm. After that one, yung training video, yan yung babayaran na. Totoo. Mm-hmm. Tsaka, okay. ano, sa pag nagbenta ka naman to 100 people, hindi naman lahat yan customers mo eh. May, mm-hmm. ma, 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 masasala sila. And yun talagang, bibili lang sa'yo, yun talagang may kailangan lang ng, ng servisyo mo or ng produkto mo. So it's uh it's it's there's really a lot of um you know ways to skin a cat. You could do just Facebook um post lang, you could do YouTube lang or you could do LinkedIn lang or you could do a combination of both. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah. our suggestion is you have to go where your customers are. If your customers yeah. are in the Viber marketplace, don't ka magbebenta. If their customers are in LinkedIn, then don't ka mag pagpo-post ng content mo. It doesn't matter whether it is um, dun lang sa platform na yun makikita. Like, for example, LinkedIn, dun lang. Or you could just post a link sa LinkedIn going to your website or going to YouTube for your video. So, you just have to know who your client is, ano yung gusto nilang malaman from you, and then you go from there. So, you don't have to do everything. You just have to do the relevant thing. Okay, let's move um, on to your next add, Oh, yes, ma'am. Opo. Yeah, so so you're targeting your market, diba? You know your market, you're targeting that. But you will also catch people who are not in your market. For example, you have a product that's for babies. Eh, wala namang baby yung nakapanood. But that person will remember you and refer you to someone who has a baby and might have a similar problem that your product is a solution for. Mm. Uh, I see. Okay, I can see it right now. So, parang it's just kumbaga yung uh, you, you're just using literally yung ano yung bilang isang hook lang para kumuha ng mga tao. Uh, uh, I want to just acknowledge my big boss, si uh, Joe Mag, Joe Mag Saisai, Potato Corner. Uh, listening here right now. Great job with Potato Corner, especially during this time of the COVID crisis. Yes. And of course, co-founder ko rin dito sa Easy Franchise at yung co-owner ko sa Mercado Central. Joe Mag, thanks so much for listening. Ma'am, uh, Donna May, let's go to the next slide right now. Yeah, and I think this is my last slide. So, it's simple. Technical experts are not necessarily training experts. So, may magagaling na na engineer na hindi naman sila makapag-explain kung paano gawin yung ginagawa nila or merong magaling na baker pero hindi siya magaling magturo mag-bake. So, that's where we come in. We we coach this chef on how to, you know, to share his expertise and his love for food to his uh prospective uh, customers. Kasi, di ba, nag-close din sila for a while. So, maybe this is another venue for, for that chef or that, for his restaurant to be known. Yun. And in Consult Asia, we have both. We have both technical experts and training experts. Ah, Yun. I so, see right now. Okay. So, actually, may, may tanong dito, which is very nice, kay Arlie Jane Agrabi. If I want to make money uh, uh, at home do, with home production services, are training videos the best way to do it? Like you said about the chef, diba? Uh, you were able to create a training video for the chef to sell his services. So, is creating training videos the best way to sell your products and services uh, during this time? Well, it depends on who your customers are, if they are mostly on Facebook, if they're mostly online. So, dapat talaga you test the waters first. You test where your customers are and then you follow them. I see. Thanks so much, ma'am. Okay, let's move on to the next part of the slide. 
Yeah. So this one is uh, Carmine's uh, slide. Okay. Carmine, ready? All right. Okay, so this slide shows our different academies at consultation. So we have the Leadership Academy, Business, Sales, and Life. Now, on the, so under these academies, we have many, many courses that we offer. But right now, what you're seeing on the screen are the list of courses that are directly related to developing training courses, training material or content for our entrepreneurs. So for example, mm -hmm. you have presentation and public speaking skills. Hindi, hindi porque magaling kang magluto o magaling kang electrician ganyan, or hairdresser, eh, tulad nga ng sabi ni Donna, eh, makaka, eh, may explain mo na in a systematic oh, oh. and effective way. So, we will, you know, uh, with, in this course, we teach people to, to speak uh, better, the modulated voice, speak more slowly, you know, face the camera, talk to that little button. That's the challenge, uh, even for us na season, um, facilitators na now having to look at the camera hindi mo nakikita yung audience mo so that that requires some training others are train the trainer so you can understand the learning process how people receive the information writing digital marketing social media basic and of course professional image development hindi pwede yung pambahay natin tapos ano oh, <laughs> camera na tayo um... kaagad so these are some things that we feel uh, our uh, entrepreneurs can be benefit from among our offering. But ma'am, ma question ko lang po kasi uh, sa panahon na ganito ng COVID, di ba lahat tayo medyo nagsasave ng pera ngayon. Uh, yes. if, they, if they get trained by consultation, may, may freemium rin ba yung consultation ngayon na pwede silang makinig sa isang presentation ng public skills uh, seminar to improve yes. their skills to go online? Please share with us naman yes. kung anong magagawa natin para sa ating mga nakikinig ngayon na gusto maging, uh, who want to sell their skills now online or their Goods yes. and services na hindi pa masyadong magaling sa presentasyon. We will have uh, free webinars. These are one-hour webinars uh, very soon. And they can just go to our FB page, also our website. No? Our website is consultasiaglobal.com. And that's our Facebook page as well. So yes, we will have live seminars uh, for about one hour to help our viewers. So kahit may mga goods or services, they can see kung talagang a bagay yung kanilang produkto or servisyo na pwedeng ilagay online, di, hindi pa ba? Yes, yes. Like I said, we, uh, you know, you plant seeds, we plant seeds. We can't expect to profit tomorrow even if we post something today. So trust that these seeds will grow. And like Donna said, you know, try everything. You never know. Baka may pumatok. Uh, uh -huh. Depende rin sa produkto, that where your uh, viewers are. Kung mga bagets ang viewers mo. That's a tita term, no? Bagets. <laughs> <laughs> Naku, pang tita, pang tito, tita ng Manila yung bagets po. Kasama pa ako dyan, kasama pa ako dyan. I know that. Okay, uh -huh. so ma-video ang kabataan ngayon. So, you know, back on, uh, take advantage of that. They like video, then give them video. Tama po. Okay, very good. Uh, Ma'am, yung next slide po natin. Right. So, our next slide is uh, a simple anatomy of a good post or video. First of all, look on the upper right, no? yung objective natin. Ano ba ang objective mo? Is it to target new customers? Is it to raise your revenue? You have to know that on a business level. Of course, sabi dyan, customer profile. No? So you have to know your customers. Hindi pwedeng, hindi mo alam yung age group nila, more or less. Mas karamihan ba babae? Mas marami ba senior citizen? We have to know that. Even in our face-to-face -face learning, it's important that we know yung mga participants natin sa room. Of course, you have to know your stuff. Kung food yan, kabisado mo yung ingredients mo, kabisado mo yung mga sukat, etc., etc., anong una, anong susunod. Hindi pwedeng mag-webinar ka or mag-video ka sa bagay na hindi ka ito. Kasi tatagos yun eh. Mm, and then lastly, the intention, it's different from objective kasi yung objective is measurable, no? Ilang bagong likes, ilang bago sorry, ilang thousands or hundreds of pesos, ilang percent of revenue. Um, that's the objective. Sa intention, uh -oh. anong gusto mo? Engagement lang? May mag-inquire? May mag-like? You want them to come back sa next post mo? Yun lang siya. It's, it's uh, confined to the post. Yung intention. Mm. Kung mag objective siya on the post level. So okay. that's the anatomy of a good post. Okay. So and after this one, this is this can be pwede po sa Facebook to. Diba? Pwede gamit sa Facebook, sa iba't ibang pamamaran. Yan yung pinakamagandang. Yeah. Pagbaga, if you write a, if you write a Facebook post, or mag Instagram profile ka, or whatever, sa LinkedIn, ito yung pinaka-titignan mo parang anatomy of a good post. Oo, oo. 
uh, and and kasama dito no yung anong kulay ang gagamitin mo anong font ang gagamitin mo anong language ang gagamitin mo english english ka ba kung hindi naman english zero english zero yung yung market mo pero kung medyo upscale yung produkto mo eh kailangan ma-catch mo yung attention ng mga uh, market kung baga, mo babagayin mo yung lingguwahe mo at yung mensahe mo at, at uh, content mo sa mga target market mo definitely but either way no whether mas masa yung produkto or service mo or mas upscale you have to be likable at hindi mo i-compromise yung professionalism mo Uh-oh. just you know for them to like you I like Your this one. Oh. And then uh, I, I I have a special guest right now, Mr. Net Cortez. Na comment kayo si Mr. Net Cortez. Sabi niya, people are hesitant to buy anything these days, but they want to learn something new. This is the value that they can create for the customers. And yung yung nagagawa po ng uh, consultation, they're able to uh, equip you with the skills to be able to better communicate uh, what you want to communicate with the customers by learning something new. Hindi pa ba, Mr. Net? Thank you so much for listening to us here right now. Ah, uh, ma'am, next slide po, ma'am uh, Carmine. All right. Well, this slide it, it shows our you know it just shows our experience and our presence. So, like uh, Donna said, we're present in Asia, North America, Europe, and Australia. We we have experience in hospitality, retail, direct sales, legal, oil and gas, etc. And our team is just as diversified. But we have shared values. So we're big on integrity, discipline, and excellence. And our Consultants are experts. No, hindi lang kami trainer na yun lang ang trabaho. We have other businesses. We're busy with our own gig, but we also help others learn. So we are experienced facilitators. Ah, uh, okay, ma'am. Thank you so much for enlightening us. Kung ano ginagawa po ng consultation. So unang unang let's let's do uh, different examples po ng mga nakikinditito po ngayon. No, ah uh, unang unang let's say for example, um. It is, this is a good question from Anne Guerrero. Is it a good idea for my service biz- business to create videos teaching consumers how to do my services at home? Will it not lessen my income? Yan po isang tanong lagi natin mga service providers, especially yung mga, kunyari, salon. If I teach them how to dye their hair at home or kung paano magpagupit na, mag-gumupit, gumupit ng buhok sa bahay. May isa sa amin dito, they're teaching them how to create your own spa at home. Uh, sa yung naging, naging guest namin noon about she may spa siya na kina-franchise yung ginagawa niya sa spa. She creates the spa ingredients, yung parang spa kit, pinapadala sa bahay ng customer niya. Then she creates a video tutor- tutorial on how to do the spa. Um, kasi kailangan ngayon sa panahon ng ECQ. But it, is it a good idea to do this? Or would it lessen the income of that person in the longer term? If she teaches yung skills o yung pag, kung paano mag-gumpit, kung paano magpaday ng buhok sa mga nakikinig sa kanya or to, to, to clients in general. Miss Donna, maybe you want to answer, Miss Carmine. Please Ayan. feel free to answer. If, I think if if you as an entrepreneur stagnate, na yun lang yung services na you offer mo, yeah, mapag-iiwan ako nga. But if you continue to innovate and you know knock on new doors and you know blaze new trails, hindi ka, you will never be left behind and never ever be afraid na agawang ka ng negosyo ng ibang tao o ng mga kliyente mo. Hmm. No, kasi um, it would actually have a ripple effect. It would actually amplify you as the the source of the, you know the those authority. The authority, oh, oh di ba? Yes, oh, oh, yon. So and even with Consult Asia, there are so many training companies there. But we have a unique selling proposition. We have our own uh, mark uh, in the industry, and that's what I encourage you guys to do. Um, never be afraid to. Um, you know, nagayahin kayo. Actually, flattering nga yun, hindi eh, nagaya ka. Mas okay na ikaw yung gayahin kesa ikaw yung manggaya. Tama dyan. Ay, ito pa isang magandang tanong kay, kay Nicole Bulan. I like her question. She said there, I've conducted webinars to show my clients that I'm a brand that cares. But parang right now, baka mukhang opportunistic ako, di ba? Especially sa, sa situation ngayon. How do you make sure that, you know, if you have a brand and you're selling a brand, you're selling a service? Because that's, that's what you do. Because you are a company and you need to make income that you come off na may empathetic ka naman, hindi ka pasyadong opportunistic sa panahon na ganito. Is there a way to differentiate the communication or to differentiate the intention sa message na ipinapamahagi mo sa mga nakikinig sa'yo? Ms. Carmine or Ms. Donna, please feel free to answer. Ma'am, yung audio niyo po. Hello? Yeah, Hello. there, ma'am. Ms. Carmine, okay. I'll take this na lang. Well, uh, you have to be a brand that cares. And a lot of companies have corporate social responsibility departments to cater to this, even pre-COVID. 
now dahil nandito na tayo sa sitwasyon ngayon, mas ano mas ano siya, mas naging highlight siya. It became the norm. You've seen companies na um they donated their marketing budget for the entire year, you know, to support the frontliners and you've seen people who um if you buy uh at the restaurant they will um donate 50% of the profits to mm. you know to another cause so there are so many ways to help and there are so many ways to make it seem that you know it uh it comes from a place of really you know of goodwill of of helping it it all boils down to intention like what karma said and the heart i wouldn't i haven't really seen a company recently na parang medyo pardon the term pero parang nag ano uh, umi umiepal lang <laughs> am i allowed to say that <laughs> pero wala naman kasi you've seen that people are banding together humanity Filipinos are coming together to help and heal as one so this is the perfect time to you know to to help out and be relevant how, how do I good question from Rico Santos okay I've never made a training video before in the past or I've never done videos in the past. How do you just start off? Para kung magsisimula, syempre may iba, jahin mo na yan, ano, i-record ba yan sa, sa kukuha lang ng video ganyan, or Facebook Uh-oh. video, mag-record, mag-live ba siya, or mag-record mo na siya. What's a good way to start off, especially kung wala ka talagang zero public public speaking skills or zero presentation skills para kung magsisimula sa negosyo yan? Just get started. Just, just, just get a phone and just do a Facebook live. The raw the more raw it is, the better. Okay, and, man. yeah, I mean, there's a lot of uh, millionaires now from YouTube. Diba, meron silang YTP or YouTube Partner Program. A lot of those um, viral videos were shot on an iPhone or on a typical Android phone. And they did, they're doing pretty well. So, what stops you as entrepreneurs to share your content? Sila nga naghuhugas lang ano ng kamay <laughs> diba to make trending eh ikaw pa kaya na magtuturo ka ng skill na magagamit ng mga tao so oh. yun okay, so just, just get like, started is Miss Carmine yes po ma'am yes I'm back sorry okay yeah so the advice is to start with what you have if you have a phone use that you don't mm-hmm. have to have expensive equipment um <laughs> oh. I, I just want to, to put it out there. Start with what you have. Don't worry about hardware. Oh. Ma'am, uh, the next question also, same one from PA Laksamanda, listening naman from uh, Bounce Back Philippines. Paano po, how do you price your, how do you price your seminars naman? Kasi, syempre, yung mga dito, hindi nila alam kung paano i, if after mag-premium ka, di ba, libre na yan. How do you price it? Kunyari, you offer that same service live, like a tutorial, eh, ginawa mo ng online or seminar. How do you know how to price these things properly? Um, okay, so uh, this was a discussion in a meeting I was in yesterday. No? So the, we're actually at a loss. I mean, everybody, no? The industry. Opo. Hindi sure kung bababaan yung presyo o hindi. Um, in Western societies, para sa kanila, pareho lang ang presyo ng, ng face-to-face at saka ng online. Mm-hmm. But then again, we're Filipinos. So, so, ang Pilipino naniniwala na just because you weren't there physically, just because you were home, means mas mura dapat yung ano. But I think cost-wise, no, you can take down the, lower the, you can lower the price kasi hindi ka naman nagpa-lunch, hindi ka nagpa-snack or nagpa-pape. And so, um, it, it's probably on a case-to-case basis and depending sa model mo, what if individual learning sessions siya. So, ayun, ano, is, no, that's very interesting. Oh, oh. No, especially kagaya ko po, I, I'm a professional moderator and a host and I'm doing my services online. Hindi naman bumabago yung kalidad ng skill level po pag ikaw nag, nag-host ka on, on, online or you're doing it offline. You're, you're still giving your best. So hopefully people can value uh, your services whether offline or online ka. Hindi pa ba? Yes. Okay. Really, a lot of really great questions here this morning. Very, very engaged, uh, very engaged listeners. Ah, ito, maganda, Ma- Ma'am Nicole. Uh, Ma'am Nicole Bulan, thanks for the question. Really great question. Infographics, very effective in conveying message. Can you share with us a bit more about how to improve your presentations, especially among webinars with infographics? What have you seen are the most effective tools that you can use to enhance your presentations, especially pag nag-webinar ka or training? Okay. 
uh, I'll, I'll answer that. Una muna, infographics are, they're not exactly pictures, no? they're, they're more like vector images, mga graph, chart, uh, icons, ganyan, with very few text. The advantage of infographics is you have the advantage of both text and image, and both of those put together are very powerful. They're more powerful than ito, nagsasalita ako, more powerful than pure text. Put together, talagang naiintindihan iintindihan agad ng, ng viewer or reader yung laman nun. So, it's very uh, efficient, actually, yung mga uh, infographics. Okay, so yung mga content like what are the steps, what are the different ways, anong chart ng diba, peso performance, for example, no? uh, the infographic is a good medium for that. Uh, currently, we use a lot of Canva. So, if you want to learn to make better, <laughs> nicer, more professional-looking material, you can check out Canva. They have, uh, uh, you, you can sign up for free. They're just uh, premium services, of course, will require you to pay, to have a payment oh. account. Okay. Thanks, ma'am, so much. Ito naman po from Jose Talare, really a great question. Um, kung ako ay magsisimula na mag-online videos right now, no? Magagamit ko lang ba yung dito sa ating uh, during the quarantine period? Anong anong long-term benefits actually of creating start starting to do your online trainings, webinars, videos right now? Uh, like you said, like for you, for example, Ma'am Donna, you were saying it's like an investment in your relationship with the consumer. But kung ito first time lang nila ngayon no, to start off right now, why is it a good time to start off right now? Anong magiging benefit yan after this uh, after this ECQ is over? Ayun, kasi lahat tayo nasa starting line ngayon eh. Whether you're a big company or a small company, we're all in the starting line. And this is the best time, best opportunity to take, you know, to get started. And um, don't afraid, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Because mm -hmm. you will, and it's fine. And you will learn from those mistakes. You fail fast. And then from your learnings, you become better. And fail fast the, and fail forward, di ba? Yan yan, di ba? Yes, fail exactly. Fail forward, of all. Uh -oh. So that's what we need to do right now. And also, um, if we are able to, you know, to get started, mauna na tayo dun sa iba, since this is the new normal, at least nakapwesto na tayo. Mm, Hindi na tayo, ano, ma ma mapag-iiwanan uh, uh, in the next few years. Actually, maganda yun, Ms. Donna. In, in, nung isang araw, we guested here on the show, the COO ng Phoenix Petroleum, si... Uh, Si Bong Fadelion at pagdating yung payo niya sa amin, sabi niya, RJ, you need to try to start doing business right now during the ECQ. Kasi iba na yung negosyo eh. Hindi pwede na nagsara ka ng negosyo bago nag-ECQ at bubuksan mo lang pagkatapos yan. Iba na yung mundo. At kung hindi ka masanay ngayon habang may ECQ, if you don't learn how to fail right now, if you don't learn how to pivot, you don't learn how to change your business here right now, masyado kang late na pag nagsimula yeah. ulit. Uh, mm -hmm. pag nags, pag, kasi after ECQ, GCQ pa yan, di ba? Yeah. GCQ mm -hmm. doesn't mean it's still normal. So, it's really a learning process. And if you don't start doing business here right now, you might not you might not ever start uh, doing business. Na, yes. ni another nice question from Milagros Guevara. I like the questions right now today. Um, how do you make long-term money? Anong business model ba yan? How do you make the money longer term from creating webinars and training videos? Ako yun, I'm, I'm curious. Do you, kasi kung pare-pare niyo sasabihin mo lang, ah, uh, People will just keep on paying for a new seminar. And how do you make sure people also don't just record your seminars at pinapakita sa ibang tao rin po? How do you make sure that uh, you can keep on doing this business uh, online? How do you make how do you really make money from it? Ayan. Karma, do you want to take this? or? Well, my, my take on that is first, do not be afraid. Okay? We know we have our concerns, pero we cannot make decisions or we cannot act based on, on fear. Okay? So be creative. Go for what you want. Go for what you believe in and act on on those. Wag baka gayahin ako, baka ganito, baka walang mangyari. You will never know until you try. And then as you go along, you will learn other things that we are not saying. Because right now, we also don't know those things uh, related to you, no? But you will know the information that you need once you set out to look for it. You will learn new things, a lot of new things. You will learn new terminology na dati hindi mo alam. Malalaman mo na ngayon ibig sabihin ng 1080p, for example. And you can ask us what that means. <laughs> if you like. Anong, anong ibig sabihin po niyan? Anong ibig sabihin po niyan? 1080p is a resolution. Kumbaga sa, sa picture, merong picture na mas low resolution, merong high resolution. No? 1080p is, is a measure of that. Uh, I believe yung mga YouTube frames, that 1080p. If you see videos sa YouTube na mas narrow, that's probably 720p or even yung oh. mga square videos. 
definitely hindi, no? So we, you will learn um, what's best. Uh, videos na horizontal are better for YouTube. Pero videos that are square or even mas mahaba, no? Um, portrait are better for Instagram. Um, yun, stuff like that. And these information, uh, you can ask us about. You can also research them, but we can also give you more personalized uh, uh, discussion on them. Because well, ako mismo and Donna, we learned them the hard way. We learned them because we wanted to do it. So we researched, we learned as we went. Ah, very great. A lot of great learnings here this morning. Again, no, sa mga nakikinig dito ngayon, training skills to connect with consumers, paano gawa ng mga digital videos, how can create videos from mga trabaho ninyo, whether nasa goods or services ginagawa ninyo, may skill sets ninyo, paano ninyo matratanslate online, paano kayo makakakita ng pera online from doing that, especially um, in the new business normal. Ito man po, magandang question kay Earl Chan Fu, all the way from Subic Bay. E paano man yung mga restaurant po? Paano anong gagawin nila? Pwede ba sila mag-training video? Anong, anong video na pwede nilang gawin? Uh, how can they translate their services online? That's fun, di ba? What about, there are many ideas. Obviously, you know, you're pre preparing the food, packing the food, tas ihahatid. A day in the life of their delivery person, where do they get their um, their ingredients, how do they pick their ingredients, ano ba ang history ng a certain pansit or a certain okay. chapstoy, for example. Y yung mga ganyan, that's very interesting. And in fact, sa negosyo ngayon, di ba, it's food that sells. Yung mga dating walang food business, ngayon biglang may food business sila, gumaba silang that's plan, or puto, or whatever. Meron nga akong nakita, ano, how yung, you make your own milk tea, but you buy the kit from them. So there's the sugar, there's the cream, there's the, the pearls, Yung, yung mga ganong bagay, you buy the kit, you make it your own. So, magpapago rin talaga yung siguro product line or line of services, but it's still your business. Be the, be the supplier. Diba? Be the supplier. That's, that's another twist to it. Oh. At yung maganda sa, sa sinabi mo, uh, Ma'am Carmine, no? it's like, that's, my business is Mercato Central, yung food market niya. Eh, diba? What's important is that nung nakita ko ito, it's not just the food, it's the story behind your food. So, kunyari, restaurant naman kayo, if you want to create meaningfulness and relevance to the consumer, dahil hindi na sila nakakapunta sa mga restaurant mo, dapat you should bring that experience of the food to them or the story of the food to them via video. Uh, kunyari, ba't mo naisip yung recipe na ito, di ba? At kahit gawin nila sa bahay yung recipe, kahit ibigay mo yung recipe dyan online, pakita mo, they can't do it as good as you, eh. Hindi pa ba? And sometimes when that happens, they'll still remember you, especially after the ECQ. Or mag order in sa inyo kasi nahihirapan nilang magluto sa bahay. So they will still oh. go to you if you get an order and delivery service. That's true. And, and that uh, circles exactly. back to a previous question. No? Alimbawa, hairdresser, kapag tinuruan mo sila magputol ng buhok, baka mawalan ka ng negosyo eventually. I don't think so. Kasi people pay for convenience. Ngayon lang yan na sila ang gagawa. Pero sa totoo lang, di ba, lahat tayo, ako ha, I can't wait to go back to my manicurista to get my, <laughs> to get my nails done. Even if my daughter can do it for me or I can do it for myself, I'd rather pay for the service. So babalik din yun. Don't worry about it. Oh, I, I feel the same. I feel the same way. Hindi pa nang papagkupit dito. Sabahin natatapot ako sa asawa ko magpagkupit ng book sa kanya. So, <laughs> uh, Ma'am, this is a good question. Again, I know we tackled this earlier on, but then uh, again, for the sake of na hindi na ngayon ang nakikinig, di ba? Kunyari, kayo po isang spa, wellness establishment, kunyari, mga masahe, di ba? Massage services or therapist services from Zell, uh, Gakutan, Corbay. Anong suggestion mo sa mga webinar or video content na mga yan? Pwede bang turuan na yung kasawa ko, mga anak ko, i-masahe na lang ako, i-foot massage. What, what do you think that they can do for mga webinars or, or training videos or at least videos to continue connecting uh, with their consumers? Yeah, and, uh, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, essentially, it's, it's just uh, a background of, you know, wellness, health and wellness. And, you know, siguro basics on uh, how to do massage, what to do, what not to do, yung top three things that, um, uh, that be, that the top three benefits of having a massage. So, y yung mga simpleng ganun na na content would, would really help. Uh, and mahirap din kasi to actually teach massage kasi baka may ma <laughs> may mapi oh. ma <laughs> may mapindot tas mapasama pa. So, you, as a spa owner, you have to really curate your content uh, such that it's informative and it's safe for your clients and it would bring the conversation and start the conversation uh, around your business uh, ulit. 
Yeah. I see. So, basta keep the um, conversation, keep yourself relevant online and keep the conversation yeah. around you online. Ms. Carmen, yes, gusto mo magdagdag po. No, I was going to add, for example, you, uh, spa yung business mo, no? You can talk about essential oil or you can talk about uh, uh, other product. Uh, skin. You can talk about skin, di ba? How, mm-hmm. how skin responds to certain uh, substances. So, or, or food, nutrition. It doesn't always have to be directly related. Like, porque baka eh masahe agad. But you can talk about products that you use in the establishment. Mm. How you choose your how you choose your staff, for example. Interview my staff mo. A day, again, a day in the life of it, it sells really well. Ako, pangarap ko mag-interview ng magtataho, actually. <laughs> Darating din yon. Anyway, yeah, so, uh, ano kaya ang thoughts ng isang therapist, di ba? Ilang nakakailan sila sa isang araw, kung mm. babae siya, anong feeling niya pag lalaki yung minamasahe niya? Yung mga ganong klaseng insight. Oh, para like mga oh, pa, pers- story. personal stories, nakikinig mga slice of life stories, yes. dyan nakikinig pa yung mga tao yes. din sa, sa mga ginagawa dyan. Ma'am, ito magandang, isa pa magandang question. Oh, kay, kay Carla, um, I've been using social media posts to connect with my consumers. Should I start shifting to videos, especially kung puro po- post ang Instagram post or Facebook posts? Um, does it give another level to the relationship that you're trying to create with your customers if you start doing uh, videos? Yes, you can try. Yes, and definitely. You can from YouTube. Sorry, on Facebook first, and then you can go to YouTube. Mm. Ma- ma'am, do you ma'am? Uh, yeah, I mean, um, if a picture paints a thousand words, bayon, so paano pa yung video, di ba? <laughs> so in a 10-second yeah. video, and dami mo nang pwedeng sabihin, it's just that you have to design your video uh, to have the message na spot on within the first three seconds. <laughs> or mm-hmm. masyado na mahaba yung 10 seconds, especially dahil ang bagal na internet dito sa ating <laughs> sa Pilipinas. That's right, so, that's right, that's right. You really have to design your content really well. And makikita mo naman sa analytics eh. Um, if people are engaging um, with your content and if people are sharing it or commenting on it. So just measure and adapt. So, kapag okay to, go for it. Pag hindi, stop. Then, find another way. Ladder, rinse, and repeat. Ganun lang siya. I like that. Really great way to, to do this one. Um, I like this question from Mark Habaradas. Why are training skills important for business at the moment? Well, I guess, to training people, I guess, how is it important is it to, to, to develop training skills and reteach that, I guess, on video right now? Ma'am, Ma'am Donna, Ma'am Carmine, baka may sagot kayo dyan. Training skills? You're talking. You're asking about training skills. Yeah. Why, why is it yeah. important? How relevant to, are we in today's uh, world? Tra- tra- <laughs> why, why is training? I guess training the trainer important, uh, especially right now uh, in this world of post-COVID. How important will it become in business? As a, you know, we we need to optimize the opportunity to teach. We cannot waste the time. We cannot waste the resources that we have. Maganda, may video ka nga, maganda nga camera mo, pero ang bagtal mo magsalita, hindi mo na-engage yung audience mo, they will log off, they will move on to another window or to another tab or click on another link. So we want to avoid that. We want to be as engaging as possible. We also want for them to retain um, the information. Actually, it's simple lang ang mantra ko, no, as a trainer, as a facilitator, to make it easy for my audience or to make it easy for my learners. Wag i-complicate the wing simple. Kasi once naging effortful as opposed to effortless, then, uh, yan, magtutun out sila, lilipat sila. Yeah, and also, if you could explain uh, the content to a five-year-old and the five-year-old can actually do it, that means you're an effective trainer. Unfortunately, not all technical experts can can do that. Number one, wala silang patience to teach a five-year-old. I'm, I'm imagining right now trying to teach my four-year-old. Wala talaga. Wala talaga. Hindi, I'm feeling ko hindi yung magaling, magaling na trainer. Diba? So, kung so may style sa mga bata, kasi Montessori educator ako, so I know how to talk to four-year-olds, but I also know how to talk to 40-year-olds. So oh, okay. there's a different skill set uh, for that. And that's why we we are relevant you know, in today's yeah. COVID ano, uh, and situation. And remember, the the more you do it well, the more your viewers or your customers or even potential customers will be dependent on you. Kasi nga, kilala ka nila ang turing nila sa'yo authority. And whenever they need something in the future, they will go to you and they will refer you 
to others. And when the ECQ is over, definitely nandiyan sila. They will even share. Yun, ang, yun yung power ng social media. Eh. Yung sharing, mm. you never know. Kala mo nag-post ka lang, ano? dun, dun lang sa existing likers and followers mo lang siya. Pero you never know when they like something well enough that they share it. Meron kang posts na siguro tatlo lang mag-share, pero meron kang posts na 50 or 100. Oo, hindi mo alam ko ano mensahe. Dapat yung gag- gag- gagawin mo dyan is you start evaluating what was it about the post. You should anatomy of a good post. You should analyze ano ba nagustuhan nila sa post na ito na hindi na nila nagustuhan sa ibang post na ito. Then you can keep on Uh-oh. building on those posts. Keep on creating the same posts na best practice mo na. Hindi, hindi pa ba? At saka nakakatawa, di ba? Sometimes people don't share, but they mention, kinocomment nila yung pangalan ng friend nila. So, mm. ako mismo, when I see that, nagtataka ako, iniisip ko parang, bakit kaya nila tinag tong friend na to? Kailangan ba nitong friend na to? Or nakakatawa ba ito para doon sa friend It's really interesting to observe people's behavior online. No, I agree, I agree. And and madam, I this is a very interesting thing. I'm looking right now at all the people sending some questions here and there are a couple coming in from people who are in the travel agency uh, business which which we know right now is also uh being being greatly affected by by this crisis because of course travel uh you can you can do much traveling right now. Ano gagawin nila sa pag sa ganyan service business nila? How will they pivot their businesses pag travel agency or travel? Uh, be, before I answer that one, maybe, uh, maybe what we can start with was uh, just to help out Kian and Calvin Tonaye and Atondo Harold. Um, some of the people we've actually interviewed who do travel agencies, the way that they pivoted is that uh, they take a look at you know, the skill set na, na, na nasa isang travel agency, kunyari, organizing a trip, organizing a, uh, a tour group, or, or let's say ex- getting money exchange or forex. They can actually reuse those skill, same skill sets. Iba lang ipapadaan dyan sa kumpanya na yan. So for example, before, like Angkas used to, tra- used to bring people, uh, used to travel, used to uh, carry people. But now, that's not possible. So they carry uh, goods like, like uh, restaurant goods or food services. So maybe if you have a, restu- a, a tourism business, the infrastructure of the people is still the same. The training is still the same. Instead of doing tours through you, what are the other products which people can process uh, through a tour agency that they can use right now. Pero that's, that's my two cents. Ma'am, uh, kayo naman po, anong masasagot nyo kay Kian and kay, uh, kay uh, Harold Atondo? Hi. What can do differently? Oo, pag-travel. Hi, Harry. Harry Atondo and Czech. Uh, I, they're my friends. <laughs> and then Kian, hi. Um, basically, for travel, I was in the travel business for, for a while and I felt their pain only because it's too it hit too close to home. Oh. Bigla na lang from boom, bigla zero. <laughs> so hindi na talaga kami pwedeng lumabas. So we had different income streams before this happened. So we had uh, you know international so wala na yon. We had local, wala na rin yon. Ang matitira na lang talaga would be the food. Yung Kali series, yung mga food trip, mga food walk, food crawl. So instead of you uh, bringing your customers to those restaurants like, let's say, Binondo or Pampanga or Negros, uh, Bacolod. So, why don't you bring the food to the clients through yon, Yang Kas or through a uh, Grab or through other logistics company? And also, um, for the travel um, industry, nag, ano sila, nag band together sila to form a group called Rise Up. So, it's it's meant to, to really um, leverage on each other's strengths and weaknesses, like what um, they said, uh, to repurpose, you know, the 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 skills of one travel agency and, uh, you know, connect with another travel agency and, you know, work together as one. And hopefully in the post-COVID world, you know, it would, it would you know, hold. Sana maging united pa rin siya because the tourism industry is a billion dollar um, no, industry right, right. here in the Philippines. Oh. And another thing then siguro is yung constantly innovate and train just because sarado tong mga uh, like um, mga resorts or this uh, natural uh, playgrounds that we used to go to the beaches we could always resort to virtual travels or like planning ahead or um, like just keep the conversation going yung ano yung nangyari in the past ano pa yung natitira sa bucket list nyo ano yung uh, pwedeng mangyari in the next few few weeks and how we could you know um, you know adapt to that. Yeah. Ma'am, ito importante to. Uh, Ma'am Carmine, Ma'am Donna, very great questions coming now from the bounce back group. 
Um, we have Jen Valdez and uh, who's asking about what can we offer now if we were tutorial businesses or after school programs and from Jacqueline Marizan Tolentino, same question, but more for what can we offer if we are schools? What can they do right now in terms of tutorials? How do they convert that uh, online right now? Uh, some advice, please, especially for mga schools and after school programs, Miss Donna uh, and Miss Carmine. Anong sagot niyo pa dyan? Ayon. I'm also a teacher. <laughs> yes, yes. The so, teacher. Yeah, so yun yung problema din namin in the last few weeks. So we slowly integrated um, our curriculum into online platforms like Google Classroom. Minsan we have virtual Zoom classes. But the challenge is really how do you hold classes to 24 children at the oh, same time? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> sa classroom nga, hindi mo sila masawa yung pahaya na nasa kanya-kanin silang bahay. So, oh, it is really challenging. So, what we did was we divide and conquer. So, instead of doing, like, daily sessions, we did, um, like, um, weekly sessions per, per cohort. And then, we group them according to their, their level in the classroom. And then, we provided them with, um, like, you would say homework, but you would say like uh, like a checklist of a to do list that's intertwined with their chores at home or with with things that they could do in their community, uh, observing social distancing, of course. So yeah, just just explore online platforms. There's a lot out there. Uh, there are things that uh, would also allow you to like uh, do on demand trainings. Because yung Zoom live lang siya eh. But there are oh. some platforms that would allow you to do on-demand trainings. Um, another thing is also make sure that there's a partnership between the parent and the teacher. We don't want to 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 dissolve that um, only because um, we those two need to work together to support the child. And lastly, another tip for the tutorial companies and the you know the you know after school services, just um, Continue to to touch base you know, with your existing clients and ask them how they're doing and what kind of help they would need at home because every family is different. Uh, of course, you can't you know um, we can't do like one on ones on everything and we also on the other end of the spectrum we cannot do one size fits all solutions. The best thing to do really is to survey all of them what do they need and you know meet them in the middle. But always always have uh, you know an online platform that you could really share your services na secure na na hindi compromise yung security ng clients so, yeah. okay, that's what we've been good. doing Re really great so, in other words get get start going start just start doing something lang diba ma'am yes ma'am carmen gusto mo magdagdag po ma'am i was going to add that we also have programs for parents and teachers to cooperate and co-participate actually that's very important no hindi lang yung set up pa paano mag, uh, magturo na, now that we have the EQ. But also, we need a lot of involvement from the parents or any big sister, big brother. Importante na siya ngayon. And besides, the parents are home anyway, right? Of course, they're working, but there's got to be a workaround. I see. Ma'am, how about naman, how about kay, kay Balmonte Square? Ano suggestion mo sa mga event venues na sarado ngayon? Is there anything they can do, a webinar or a webinar or training related ngayon na puro yung venue, nyo, yung venue nila ay hindi nagagamit ngayon? Great question. I think uh, off the top of my head, pwedeng paupahan yan if merong gagawa ng video, <laughs> if merong gagawa ng shoot. No? Pwede pa rin naman. Um, they just need to sanitize, uh, disinfect, uh, yung ganon para good practice pa rin tayo. Of oh. So, kung baga, i-repurpose na lang din yung, I mean, nandyan yung venue, just repurpose its use, kung baga. Yeah, because there's a need eh. Nagbabago rin yung needs, di ba? We still have our needs. The businesses still have their needs. Pero nagbabago lang yung, yung, yung needs na yun. So, pati yung products natin and services natin. Like, That's right. And then one more question kay Levy, Levy, Peña, Levy Peña, Peña Verde, who's a, a speaker as well, no? If everybody puts themselves on a digital platform, how do you start to, to stand out? Anong parang, how do you make yourself unique, differentiate yourself? Anong, anong unique selling proposition mo, proposition mo online? I'm sure marami kayong na-train noon in the past. Uh, how do you start becoming different online? I'll start with the why. Everybody would have different whys. 
And from there, you define your how and then the what. So yeah, Simon Sinek, classic. It's, it's, it's really you. And there's only one you. <laughs> Ikaw lang yung nag-iisa yun. And that in itself is, you know, a, a big portion of your what's your unique selling proposition. And more than that, it's also your team. So hindi naman lahat ng training companies or lahat ng schools or lahat ng restaurants would have the same set of personalities or same set of people. So the main fact that you are a group of different people with different talents, different skills, different even weaknesses, it makes for your unique selling proposition. So that's the mm. team, the people. And the other thing would be your goal. Um, what is your end game? Do you want to be the global uh, preferred provider of shoes or or you want to be the best restaurant there is in the world so it 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 there's a lot of um, ways where you could anchor your USP can I, can I add something yes ma'am yes ma'am Carmine of course. Well, of course i definitely agree with donna no but i think aside pag alam mo na yan no take the first step for example set up an fb page kung walang fb page yung business mo or uh, maybe if it, even kung may resources ka, no, create a website. And then, also, take stock. No? Take a step back. Take a look at what you actually have. Don't think na meron ka lang uh, kusina at kusinero at menu at pagkain na ino-offer. Baka yung where you are, your location is actually an asset. Diba? There are many things that you probably don't appreciate. So take a step, step back. Look at your people. Look at your surroundings. Look at your hardware, even your software. What are your assets that you can actually use? From there, you will come up with something as long as you keep an open mind and and you encourage yourself, you allow yourself to be creative. Oh, I really like that. Especially part of what Mr. Ned Cortez said, that your own unique story will make you stand out. People are not listening to you because of what you have to say, but rather who is saying it, right? Kunyari, maraming yeah. pwede magturo ng, like for me, maraming pwede magturo ng entrepreneurship. Pero gusto nilang mapakinggan yung story ni Arzila Desma uh, tungkol sa entrepreneurship. Ano bang entrepreneurial mindset para sa iyo? Di ba? Same thing na pag, uh, pag si Miss, uh, pag si Miss Donna magturo ng, uh, let's say for example, how to train. They want to listen to you because you're training in a unique style that only you can train uh, people in. Lot of great insights. This has been one of the best sharings we've had here so far <laughs> because of all the questions we've been having. Good to know. Well, That's great. One, one of the very important questions before we close right now. Oh, sige, gusto, gusto na nilang magsimula uh, mag-video. What's a good CPA laksamana tarong niya? What is a good on-demand video platform? What have they been... What have been <laughs> Pwede mo mag-plug? <laughs> of course. Consult Asia partners with the best uh, people in the industry and right now... Um, we're partnering with Olearn. If you, I think uh, they're pre very present right now. So Olearn um, has um, LearnX, so it's an online learning platform. Uh, they provide a platform, and we help uh, in creating the content. Hmm. So yeah, that's how our partnership goes. Perfect. Okay. So thanks so much, ma'am. And before we before we move forward, any last words? Ano bang mga opportunities para sa ating mga nakikinig dito ngayon? What are the opportunities for business? Post-COVID, especially in the new normal, I'm sure marami kayong nakita, marami gusto mag-online, ay hindi marunong, um, or, or, or nag-online na, medyo nahihirapan ng konti. But I'm sure you're seeing so many business opportunities kasi in every crisis, there is also an opportunity to do business. Ano po yung nakikita ninyo? Ma'am, kayo muna, Ma'am uh, Ma Donna. Ayan, uh, gusto ko yung narinig ko ngayon na term na hyper-local. I love that. You know, you're actually selling to your neighbors. You're actually selling to your community. And maganda yung, ano, yung relationship na nabibuild doon. Parang bumabalik tayo sa basics. And lots of um, uh, businesses are basically the essentials. Yung katulad na sinabi mo sa simula, yung food, yung LPG, yung tubig, yung, yung mga uh, delivery services, logistics. So I've seen a lot of opportunities in these areas only because people like convenience. They don't want to stand in line for five hours sa mga groceries. <laughs> Tapos pagdating nila sa grocery, wala din hinahanap nila. So, we, these are very poignant problems that we need to solve. And I'm encouraging everybody here who's watching, regardless of what industry you're in, kung tourism man, kung, kung tutorial or parlor or restaurant, find... Uh, 
a niche or find a find a happy medium where you could you know add value to you know the to your customers and cater to their needs. Yon, thank you so much. Again, thanks okay. so much, Ms. Oh. Donna of Consultation. Ma'am Carmine, what would you like to add, ma'am? Right. All I want to say at this point is this quote that you actually have on the final slide, but I'll just say it. No, it's short anyway. Mm -hmm. The more you teach, the more you learn. The more you learn, the more you earn. And I'd like to expound on that teaching learning uh, for a little bit. No, when 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 we're learning, we're seeing one side of a topic, for example, or of a subject. We're seeing one side as learners. But when we start to teach, we are now seeing the other side of that thing. So the, the more we teach something, the more masterful we actually are regarding our subject. And being masters, then you know the secret, you know your market, you know the tricks, you know your strength and you know what opportunities are out there for you. And if you capitalize on those, you will earn more. So teach. So you can also learn because you be, you've become masters and therefore you will earn more. Yeah, ma'am. Thank you so much for sharing, ma'am. Carmine, also of consultation, Jan Foss, Clark, and Subic. And again, salat mga nakikinig dito ngayong umaga. Thanks so much for joining us for the Easy Franchise Business in Crisis session. Again, if you want to learn more about uh, consultation, uh, lumalabas sa screen ngayon yung uh, consultation uh, website page. No? So you can go over there to ask more about their services. At the same time, uh, for those who also are interested to invest in a franchise, akala po nila ngayon sa panahon ng crisis is not a good time to invest. But actually, right now is the best time to invest in mga essential franchises because not all businesses are reacting the same way uh, during the franchise. May iba nags may, uh, during, the, during the crisis, may iba nagsara. Pero iba, sobrang lakas ng kanilang mga negosyo. So again, if you're looking to invest in essential franchises, habang sa panahon ng crisis, if you're looking at LPG, uh, convenience stores, water filling stations, uh, laundry, uh, pharmaceuticals. We have all those franchises available on easyfranchise.com. So again, maraming salamat for, for listening here today. We'll be back again on Friday. Ako po si RJ Ladesma. Stay safe, stay well, and stay home. Maraming salamat po sa inyo lahat. Thank you so much. Thank Bye. you. Thank you. Consult Asia delivers cutting edge training to empower people to achieve their maximum potential. Engaged in developing and delivering development programs specializing in leadership, business, sales, and life coaching. True to its name, Consult Asia works with partners worldwide in Asia, North America, Europe, the United Kingdom, and Australia. All from diverse industries, hospitality, Tourism, banking, real estate, retail, direct sales, legal, manufacturing, and oil and gas. Consult Asia closely works with partners in their people development and business enhancement programs to achieve their business goals. And the Consult Asia global team is just as world class. Consultants and facilitators, coaches and mentors are industry experts from distinct backgrounds and cultures. Consult Asia delivers only high quality training solutions and proactively pursues strategic alliances with global firms and consultants to stay ahead in the industry. Consult Asia Global, the world's preferred training group.